story. Kenyan Mbappe. Uh, there are so many dramas about the player of recent. And uh, let's get to hear what they have to say. What do you think about him, the current offer from how he loved for 300 million pounds? That is massive, man. That is massive. 300 million euros, so you, you, you see it as a massive money for a youngster. Don't you think it's worth that price? Uh, if um, if um, Arsenal could pay over a, a hundred billion for uh, the Clan Rise, <laughs> definitely um, Mbappe is worth every penny that is spent on him. So, but he going to going to uh, the Saudi Pro League is what I don't really, I like, can't really um, um, understand. You know, I would have preferred this direct um, transfer to Real Madrid, or I believe that there are so many clubs that are after his. Um, Signature. Uh, his signature. Manchester United are interested. Uh, Chelsea, in fact, Tottenham, I'm surprised to see Tottenham in the race to sign him also. So, um, he going to the Saudi program. Well, he, uh, 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 they have someone they are looking up to and <laughs> I believe he's, he's actually pulling a lot of um, European players down there. But <laughs> the big man, Cristiano Ronaldo. Right? Yes, definitely, definitely. You know, the law is there. Well, um, I also believe it's probably because PSG, a lot of PSG is also having affiliation, affiliation with the Saudi Pro League. So definitely, if PSG might not want to see a direct sales to Real Madrid, so and you know that merry go round. Huh? If it favors um, all parties, there definitely it's 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 all good. So, Mr. Michael, do you think uh, Kylian Mbappe will agree to go to Saudi Arabia at this point? Did you know it? The money is huge. The the offer is even PSG knows. Mbappe wants to play for Real Madrid. But it's, it's looking impossible at this point because PSG are unwilling to negotiate with Real Madrid. Um, according to the news I read, PSG said that, and said that the, um, the, um, the negotiation is still open for any club who wants to buy Kylian Mbappe. Okay. So, Saudi Arabia made an attempt. Madrid will make an attempt. Mali will make an attempt, Chelsea will make an attempt, Arsenal will make an attempt. At the end of the day, yeah. it is the player that will decide. That will decide. But when you look at Mbappe, when you look through his career, starting from Monaco to PSG, all his contributions to World Cup, you, 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 you should know that the way this guy career is going. You all know Kylian yeah. Mbappe wants to win the fame, Ballon d'Or, you know. What to win the Champions FIFA best, best, you know, Champions League, and, and you expect him all of a sudden to move to Saudi Arabia to go and do what? But don't you think it's good for his career, like at this point, because the money is the one. Look, in the life remember life. that this same offer, yeah. the Saudi Arabians gave Saka some months back. Yeah. But what did the Saka do? Saka rejects it because he's still young to go to Saudi Arabia. I'm still going to talk about this Saudi Arabia issue of giving out good wages and all the, I'm still going to talk about that later. But now, Kylian Mbappe, full potential is very good, you know how to score, you know. All the, you won't expect him to go to Saudi Arabia. Okay. Because when you look at, we are talking about the, the biggest, the biggest competition now. We have the World Cup, you know, Kylian Mbappe, one of the best players in the World Cup last season. You know, Champions League goes to one of the leading goals cry. And you can't expect as a at a very at a very young age, at a very young age, at a very young age. Okay. For you to move to Saudi Arabia. In football you can never say never. That is just one thing about football. You know, Kina Mbappe is not an African player. So because he's not an African so you are saying African player have to entirely to you. I I don't see let, let us say the fact here. Okay. We all know African is African player likes money. The reason, why, oh, no, no. the reason why African and <laughs> PR are playing football is because of money. It's That's why you see them move. Look at when China started doing their own yeah. spending yeah. and all of it. Yeah. Look at the PR. First, uh, first, uh, first um, we first had um, the, the drug bar. After the drug bar, we have no party, CC, Dembaba, all these guys moving to. It's because of money. But a foreigner knows football is all about making him win awards, you know, winning trophies. That, that's their own mentality. But it's not the same way with Africa. So I think Kylian Mbappe won't go to Saudi Arabia. So Cristiano Ronaldo moving to uh, 
a Saudi Pro League, do you think it's money as well? Or it's money. Not <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, see, uh, you don't know. know. See, I wouldn't. I wouldn't agree. I will okay, never okay, agree okay, with okay, that. Okay, okay. Don't, what is the money? What what money are you talking about? He yeah. has his money. Yeah. He has made name for himself. <laughs> so you wouldn't say. Let, let, let me use the word of Olibatis. Olibatis, we all we always request for more. So that's what Ronaldo is doing. He wants more money. No, he, he, I believe. But I believe. He, he's the most he's the most expensive like richest footballer currently. And doesn't matter. Even, before you mention Even that is still looking for money. <laughs> you see, the issue is, the issue is, um, I believe um, Ronaldo had to, had to just leave Europe due to the, for years for Saudi Pro League, due to the negative, negativity the media is, you know, uh, heaping upon him. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. definitely, he leaving is not because of money, because um, his first things coming back to Manchester United. He, he did very, very well. But, but if you ask Ronaldo last two seasons, last two seasons, will you ever play for Saudi Arabia? I know who say yes, Ronaldo won't say yes. You see, the hate on him was too much. The hate on him was too much. The bias on him was just too much. So, you know, to give him uh, sanity, for him to have his sanity back, he just had to, you know, take a break from the European football and you know go somewhere where you'll be you know cherished and it's but his peace Ronaldo of coming out and saying um uh, Ronaldo coming out saying um MLS is better than Stade I think it's the wrong thing to do it's the wrong statement it's the wrong statement so let's continue with the transfer news